This is my Dell 5400 Chromebook, and recently I installed uh, custom firmware so I could boot Linux. I used the Mr. Chromebox Tech firmware utility to install RW Legacy firmware. So if you have a Dell 5400 or Dell 5300, it's possible to boot into Linux. Uh, I tried Googling it, I didn't see too much documentation about this, so I made this video. Um, it doesn't show the steps of how to do it. This one is going to be talking about how to boot into a flash drive if you have issues. Depending on which Linux uh, boot installation you install, it may just work off the bat. I used uh, Lubuntu 2310 and it worked perfectly fine, but with Linux Mint, I'm going to show you the Linux Mint that I downloaded and installed. Cinnamon Edition. When I tried that, it would not boot from the USB flash drive. It gives you an error. So that's what I'm going to show today. I'm going to turn off the computer and show the error. Uh, this assumes that you've already uh, got into recovery. Uh, enabled developer mode, and then also installed RW Legacy uh, boot firmware. So I'm going to press power. It's going to have a splash screen about uh, OS verification off. I'm going to press Control L over here to go into the custom firmware. And it's asked me, do I do diagnostics or tie core? I'm going to press 1 to go into the UEFI boot comes with this screen, and then unfortunately, it came, it displayed this error message which saying, booting from USB, Memorex Mini failed, press any key to continue. And if I press the key, well, it's taking you there. But anyways, uh, it's cause I dual booted already. Um, I turned this off, and I'll show you how you can boot into this thing here, this flash drive. Pressing power again. And this is specific to Dell 5400 and probably Dell 5300. Press Control L. Press 1. And right after you press 1, press Escape to go into the uh, BIOS, whatever they call it, or the boot menu. So this is the uh, boot manager, the Dell Incorporated Serian, uh, firmware Google Serian. So when you do RW Legacy, it saves some things and it doesn't save other things. Uh, for instance, if I go into uh, Boot Manager over here and I add some, uh, add like a, a different boot option, it won't save it. So that's one of the limitations of uh, uh, RW Legacy without taking out the screw, the hardware safety screw or whatever. I'm not sure if it's using a screw, but you have to do some type of hardware change to be able to uh, install a different boot firmware. Or uh, Sorry about the terminology. I'm not expert. But anyways, if you get into this uh, boot menu, uh, you can uh, change the way it goes into Linux so that it doesn't give you that error message. Again, let's do it anyways. I'm gonna go into the boot menu over here and I'm gonna choose the flash drive again. And I'm gonna get that same error message. So hopefully if I press escape, it'll take me back. I just press escape, it took me back. I press escape one more time to go back. Escape will take me back to the previous menu. Now, if you go into boot manager, and you boot from file, you can see uh, the different hard drives or hard drive partitions as well as the USB dr boot drive. It's all in a different language, I don't really understand. But thankfully, when you create your USB installation uh, live for uh, Linux, it should have a name to it. Or you can look for USB over here. But mine says Linux Mint 21.3 uh, Cinnamon 64 bit. So, what happens once you? Enter here from, again, we went from boot manager to boot from a file. So we're trying to find the EFI file that will allow me to boot from the uh, flash drive. 
because it can't find it for some reason. Uh, so it's probably specific to this uh, boot firmware. So I'm going to press enter to go into the USB one. And now it shows you the file. This is the, what do you call it? File directory. And so usually the boot uh, file that we're looking for is under FE or boot or something. So I'm going into FE and then to boot. And finally, here are three FE files I can try. The one that works for this uh, Linux is the grub FE file. So again, I'm going to show you how to get there once more. This is for Linux uh, Mint Cinnamon 21.3. You go first into Boot Manager, delete from file. I mean, boot from file. Sorry about that. Choose your uh, flash drive, press enter, and navigate to the FE file that you want to boot. So I go into FE, I go into boot, and finally I choose grub x64. It's thinking and it's going to load up a different menu. You can see it's cinnamon. And so I just have to choose the one I want to run. And now it's going to boot from the flash drive. Easy peasy. And that's it. It's not giving me the error message anymore. Uh, I've been having issues with this flash drive recently, so it should have given me the verbose thingy. But you see it flashed white. Sometimes it freezes now. I'm not sure what's causing the problem. Maybe it's because I dual booted and it's checking the hard drive or something. But hopefully this helps someone. I came across this problem. I didn't know how to boot off the flash drive. Uh, again, if you try a different uh, flash drive or you try a different version of uh, uh, Linux environment like Ubuntu or, well, obviously, I think Linux Mint's, Mint's built off of Ubuntu. I could be wrong. Anyways, try a different uh, version of Linux uh, and create a, a boot flash drive and it may work. So this one didn't work for me. And so... It's currently booting up, and this actually doesn't even have a ma touchpad support. I need a mouse or something. But anyways, I'm just going to show you that it boots up and calling it a day. Hopefully this helps someone. Uh, I know it helped me because I was stuck. Uh, I I instead, it, I instead uh, tried uh, Lubuntu as well as uh, Kubuntu 23.10. Those flash drives that I created for the install flash booted fine. I didn't have to go through this method. It just detected it easily. And so here we are, the boots, and that's it. So hopefully this helps someone uh, in case you're using the same uh, boot boot firmware that I have, uh, Dell, Sarian, or whatever. And uh, for some reason, it's not loading the FE file correctly. So over and out.